What up? This is Ramash King covering movies, TV, and entertainment. Here's my review of Netflix's new documentary, The Hatchet Wielding Hitchhiker. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. Oh my god, do you remember this guy? Kai? Well, his rise to stardom happened 10 years ago, and his fall from grace also happened around that same time. As a matter of fact, he went from hero to zero within a span of over just three months or so. It's fucking insane. Well, for those of us who may have lived under a rock back then, Kai, aka Caleb Lawrence McGivory, was a homeless transient or a nomad, free-spirited, happy-go-lucky. He lived off of people's generosity from one place to the next. And then one day, he basically got in between a crazy perpetrator and a victim and he hit the perp with his hatchet. Kai then got interviewed by a local journalist who then uploaded that video interview on YouTube and the rest is history. Kai went viral with his smash, smash, smash. Now that whole Kai's notoriety spreading like wildfire, I remember all that. What I do not remember, however, is what happened to him after. Maybe because I was in a bubble at the time, too busy with work, etc, etc. But that's where this docu comes in, to give you the whole picture, including the aftermath. This documentary, which is directed by Colette Camden, is chronological and straightforward and very well put together. It has tons and tons of footage of not just Kai, but also footage of various online media outlets talking about Kai. By the way, the adjectives that I would use to describe Kai after watching this docu are unhinged and sad. But you can also say the same about the people around Kai at the time who were trying to benefit from his 15 minutes of fame. I mean, just from Jimmy Kimmel's employees alone who were like headless chickens running around trying to control Kai. The lengths that they went to just to get him on the show, just to get those ratings, even at the risk of their own safety, is disgusting in my book. Yes, ultimately Kai is the murderer in this entire story. He's the bad guy. He's the killer. But can you actually argue that those leeches are any better? The same social media influencers hailing Kai as a hero are the same social media influencers who a few months later are trying to get clicks and views from reporting about Kai's downfall. They never really cared about this guy, who clearly has severe mental issues and violent tendencies. This whole documentary is an indictment of our celebrity worship society who would even go so far as to exploiting a mentally ill person. Everybody here is guilty, and there's plenty of blame to go around. This docu is as much about Kai as it is about our society's incessant need to chase clout. So the last half of this docu sort of turns into Forensic Files-esque when it becomes about the investigation and the cops hunting down Kai and then the trial and the sentencing. But the overall haunting underlying theme never escapes me. What starts out as playful and crazy fun turns into disturbing halfway through, and then it ends on a very tragic note. I would love to tell you that we have learned from all this, but the truth is, we won't. We just never will. And so, on to the next viral sensation, and shame on us.